Oh. Oh, it is. Okay. Hey, this is Eric Weiss with Element Health and Wellness. What I'm going to do, I'm going to work out the. I'm going to walk you through your workout so you know exactly what you're doing. So if you have any questions, just constantly refer back to this video. Make it a little easier. Um, if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to hit me up. My website is www.elementhealthandwellness.com or you can reach me at my email eric.whiteside at elementhealthandwellness.com. So first up is the chest press machine. So again, when you're doing it, make sure you come over here to your chest press machine. Seat adjustments at the bottom. So make sure you adjust the seat like you're supposed to. Get in there, sit down. Put the weight on what's comfortable for you. Again, because this is a new workout, that we're not going 25 to 30, we're going 20 to 25. Get your arms positioned right. Deep breath in, push out, exhale, inhale, and exhale. So inhale as your arms come back, exhale as they come forward. Inhale and exhale. Again, work out 20, 25 times, you have two sets up. So do 20, 25 the first set, rest about one minute, then go back again for the second set. Next exercise is tricep push down machine. This is your tricep push down machine. When it comes to this, again, seat adjustments at the bottom. Adjust the seat to what number you're comfortable with. Notice I took off the numbers. Again, if you go to another gym or any type of gyms, they're not going to have the same numbers. So just be familiar with the exercise itself. That's why I took off the numbers so you can become more familiar with the exercise. Again, if you ever forget anything, you refer back to pictures and it will also refer back to the video. So again, for here, you get in. You're going to sit down. Elbows for this handle, you can rotate them out or rotate them in. If you're comfortable with them in, rotate them all the way in. Sit down, elbows up and close to the body. Again, make sure you adjust your weight so it's comfortable for you because you're going 25, 20 to 25 times. Take a deep breath in, exhale as you go down. Keep the elbows close to you. Inhale as you come up. Notice my elbows are close. They're not out, flaring out, so you're not putting any pressure on the shoulders or the rotary cuffs. Keep them in, concentrate solely on the tricep extension, on the triceps. Exhale, inhale and exhale. Again, 20 to 25 times for that exercise. Next exercise is the peg fly machine. So we can come over this way. This is the peg fly machine. They have a name on both sides, pectoral fly, also rear deltoid. And phase three, we'll get to the rear deltoid. When doing this, make sure you adjust the pin so it's comfortable for you. So we pull that pin down and adjust it. I usually put it on hole number three, make it a little easier for me, so it's not a lot of pressure on my shoulders. Again, you have two, you have two sides, so make sure you adjust on both sides. And it depends on three, or you can put it on two or one, whatever's comfortable for you. Over here, you have the weights itself, so make sure you adjust the weights, whatever's comfortable for you, because you're going 20, 25 times. Once you adjust that, you come over here, take a look at your seat adjustment. Seat adjustment, the handle's on the bottom, so you slide all the way down or bring it up. Make sure it's comfortable for you. Now I see the adjustments, as you can tell, over on this side. Any, it ranges all the way down to 12, up to one. I put about a three or four, depending on how comfortable I am. I really like to have my hips perpendicular to the floor or parallel to the floor. So again, I sit down, grab the handles, take a deep breath in, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Inhale and exhale. So again, 20, 25 times is what you're doing for that exercise. Going to the neck exercise, come over this way. Next exercise is going to be the bicep curl machine. This is your bicep curl machine. Again, it's number 10, but we took the numbers off. So again, make sure you pay attention, bicep curls. Works the front of your arm, so it works your bicep. Again, bicep means the prefix by means two, so you have two heads. You have your seat adjustments on the side, so make sure you adjust the seat to whatever's comfortable for you. Go ahead and have a seat. Make sure it's just seated positioned well. From here, adjust the weight to what's comfortable for you. Again, 20, 25 times is the key. Hands underneath, so you underhand grip. Elbows resting flat, or arms resting flat. Grabbing the handles. Inhale as you curl. Inhale as you curl up. Exhale as you go down. So inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. 20, 25 times is what you want. 
You want to feel a good stretch, good pull, working the bicep, but make sure there's no sharp pain. Because no sharp pain, you're working that bicep itself. So you want to make sure that's actually elongated and make sure it's concentrated on that area. If it's pressure on the elbow, you want to actually adjust that seat so there's no pressure. Next exercise, working inner outer thighs, but solely focus on inner thighs. This is the adductor machine, or what people say the birthing machine, because when you sit down, we're working the inner thighs, so we want to actually work the inner thighs, I'm sorry, right here, for what we call the hip adduction, bringing the legs in, we want to strengthen that our, out, our outer hips, or what we call our abductors are all strong, because we constantly sit down, stand up, so when we work the insides, make sure we strengthen those, so we're not pulling on the outer muscles, what we call the TFL. And when it comes to this, adjust the weight to what you want to have it on. And from here, you're actually going to come all the way in. You're going to sit down. From here, you have a yellow handle. So as you can see, you have this yellow handle. Grab that yellow handle, spread the legs as far as possible. Again, they have numbers on the side. Mine's about a five or a six. Gives you a good stretch. Handles on the side as well. So remember not to grab the yellow handle after you adjust the seat. Grab the black handles. Take a deep breath in, back upright. Exhale as you squeeze together. Inhale as you spread. Exhale. So inhale. Exhale, 20, 25 times. Notice I'm not clanking the weights. I'm not clanking the weights down at all. I'm letting my muscles do the job. So inhale, exhale, work the muscles. Make sure you control the machine. No, do not let the machine control you. Once you're done, softly put the weights down, grab that handle, bring the legs all the way back in. That's that machine, again, 20, 25 times. Next is what we call the seated leg curl machine, and it tells you exactly what it is. Again, took numbers off, so we're not worried about numbers. We're worried about what we're working. Leg curls are working the back of the legs. Leg curl machine, working the hamstrings. This one has multiple knobs on it. So if you take a look, back in the back, you have a seat position. So this works the seat. So make sure you put on whatever's comfortable for you. Then coming over to the side, this handle's over here. Adjusting where it reaches on the back of your legs or on the back of your calves. I put mine about a, what we call an L, which is large for me because of my long legs. Again, extend how high up or how low you want it. Adjust that and prior to you sitting there, make sure you put the weight on what's comfortable for you. Once you do that, go and slide in. Right leg up first, then left leg. Pull this pin. Make sure it places down for you so it doesn't pull you up. And then okay, curl the legs towards the butt. Inhale, then as you curl and down, exhale. We'll call force production, force reduction. So force production is how much force you're producing while you're lifting the weights. Force reduction is how much you're relaxing or controlling the weight as it comes back to the rest of the starting position. Again, 20, 25 times is what you want the leg curls for. Once you're done, grab that knob, lift it up, slide on it, okay? You're familiar with the leg extension machine, so I'm not going to go over that one. We're going to go over here to two more exercises. We're going to work with the battle rope. We're going to work with the kettlebell. Come this way. This is your battle rope located all the way back here by the assisted dip machine. When you get it, it's always, it's always curled in the back and it's usually wrapped against the foot pedal. If it's not, just simply wrap against the foot pedal, grab it. Bring it all the way out. Now on your workout, you notice that you're doing three sets. Your three sets anywhere from 30 seconds, 25 to 30 seconds. You want to build up to three, so if you can only do one, that's fine. But you want to try to get three sets in there for 30 seconds. When doing this, bring your ropes all the way out. Make sure they're even, feet shoulder width apart, slightly bend in the knees. And from here, you're working the ropes one at a time. And down one at a time, making the wave form. What I notice is a lot of people who are right handed, the right dominant, so that right arm goes up, the left arm just goes up. A light, uh, very little up. So you want to make sure you bring them both up and down. If that's too hard for you, you can't do alternating, grab both of them. Again, feet shoulder width apart. Double arm. If you have to do that for 30 seconds, do that for 30 seconds. So you build in the alternating arm. Once you're done, 
Yeah, three seconds. Three sets, three seconds. Three seconds, wrap it up. Last exercise, kettlebell. They all have a weight on them. So they all have a weight on them, so you know. I suggest start with a 10 pound first, then work your way up. Again, for, for me, 15 pounds, just a demonstration. Put it right in the middle, feet shoulder width apart. Good squat position from here. Two hands, bring it down. Notice, fingers on the outside because my hands are too large for this. Down, bring it up. All I'm doing is squatting down, using my legs, bringing it up. All the force is coming from my legs. My arms are just there to hold the ball. Again, if I wanted to, I could just go one hand. Again, use my legs to produce the power for what I need. Do not use your arms. And again, do not lean over all the way. Too much pressure on that lower back. The back straight, squat down, push with the legs, push from the heels. Just like that. You got three sets, 30 seconds each. And again, you have all of these equipment, so make sure you pay attention to them. Make sure you know what you're working. Matter of fact, two more exercises. Let's go over here, I'm gonna show you something else. We have a shoulder press machine. When it comes to shoulder press machine, we're working two different heads. In your shoulder, you have a front head, middle head, and posterior. So we have two different angles that we want to handle. So make sure you pay attention to your workout. Because it's going to tell you either you're going to have the horizontal bar or you're going to have the vertical bar. Again, same concept. Seat position, adjust it to what's ever comfortable for you. Go ahead and get in. Adjust the weight to whatever's comfortable. Make sure you pay attention to what the workout is saying. Because they're going to tell you either the vertical handles or horizontal. If it's a horizontal, they're the ones that alone, going side to side. Vertical ones are the ones pointing down. So again, the horizontal handles are working the middle of the shoulder. Deep breath in, exhale as you go up. Coming back down, 90 degrees. Do not go past 90 degrees. If you do, too much stretching on that shoulder. Again, 90 degrees, inhale, exhale up. Inhale, exhale up. Now, the workout calls for you working the vertical handles Grab the other handles, grab these. This is going to work the front of the shoulder again. Deep breath in, exhale. Coming down, 90 degrees, up. 90 degrees, up. Again, deep breath in, exhale as you push the weight from you. That's what you're doing for that. And the last exercise, which you're familiar with, is called the cedar row. This time I adjusted it, or pretty much I changed it. Either you're grabbing the horizontal bars or you're grabbing the vertical bars. So make sure you pay attention to that. Let's go up here so make sure you're familiar with it. And you see the row? You're all familiar with this one. And you have your horizontal bars and you have your vertical bars. Horizontal is going to work the back, the third part of your shoulder, the back of your shoulder. The vertical bars is actually going to work the front head but it's actually going to work your bicep too. It's going to incorporate two muscles in one. Again, this will be used in phase one, so you should be very familiar with it. Adjust the seat just like it should be. Over here, you have a handle for your chest, so make sure that you adjust the chest because you want to have that reach, that li uh, lifting or elongation, so make sure you have that reach. So adjust it, get in, sit down. So if you notice, I'm a little too low, so what I'm going to do, just a little higher. Now I'm sitting upright. I can reach this, I can reach the handles, so I'm just a slightly more. That was a little more difficult, but it forced me to sit upright. Adjust my weight to what I need 20, 25 times again for for first what well, first three weeks of phase two. I'm grabbing the vertical bars first. Sitting upright, pulling, squeezing the shoulder blades together. So I'm inhale, exhale as it comes to me. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Breathing is very important. If you hold your breath, you will end up passing out. You don't want that. Now next one, horizontal bars. Same concept. Sitting upright. Inhale. Exhale. Go inhale. Exhale. 
both of them, same concept, bring the shoulder blades together in the back, just like you squeeze your shoulder blades, but you work in different areas of the shoulders as well as the back. Again, these are all the new exercises that's been incorporated in phase two. So if you notice uh, phase two, week one, two, and three, it's a different rep set than phase two, week four, week four, five, and six. So please refer back to the video as often as possible if you have questions. Again, Eric Whiteside, Element Health and Wellness. You can email me at eric.whiteside, elementhealthandwellness.com, or visit our website, www.elementhealthandwellness.com. I'll see you soon. Yeah,